In this video, I'm going to explain the steps I follow after installing a new axle. Stick around to the end for a pro tip when installing your new axle. As always, please show your support by hitting the subscribe button and clicking the bell icon to turn on notifications. First, why break in a new axle? With my experience, when I've taken the time to break in a new axle, they've just lasted much longer. New axles, depending on the angle you are running, will cause the grease and boots to get extremely hot. Now, causing the grease and boots to heat up under controlled circumstances allows you to catch any issues with boot swelling. Axles have come a long way over the years, making them stronger in material strength. So I suggest checking the Axles manufacturer's website to see if they have their own break-in process and follow that process. I'm only explaining the process we do that's worked for us over the years on the brand of Axles we run, which I'll link below in case you're interested. Axles I installed four years ago are still going strong with no issues, so take it for what it is. Number two, the Axle break-in process. Start this process in high gear and you want to get on as flat of a surface as you can. If you're at a riding park, then I would stick to the main trails. Now I start off with driving two and a half miles away, which takes about five minutes depending on how fast you're going. And then I stop and I'm checking the inner and outer boots for heat. I'm careful not just to grab the boot, but slowly touch it so it doesn't burn my hand. I'm also checking for any clearance issues and rub marks. Now I let it cool down for about 10 minutes or so and then I repeat the process for another two and a half miles. Now once I stop that second time, I'm checking for heat and rubbing. Once I've done that, I let it rest again. Once it's cooled all the way off, the next time I'm driving five miles. And once I stop, I'm really only checking for heat. Now I repeat that process another two times until I've reached 20 miles total. Use your best judgment on the rest times. If it's not cooled off, then allow it to rest a little longer. The axle boot cooling all the way down is very important in this process. Number three, axle install tip. Most people don't think about uninstalling axles when installing new axles, which is totally understandable. But keep in mind, it's something you might have to do if you need to pull the front diff, upgrade the drive shaft, or replace a carry bearing. So the pro tip here is adding anti-seize to the inner axle shaft to allow for a smoother uninstall if you ever need to. In conclusion, following an axle break-in process helps reduce the risk of premature axle failure. It can't eliminate the risk, but it can help reduce it. Check out the description of this video for links to all the products we mentioned. Using the links in our description to buy these products helps us to continue to bring you great information like this video. Please show your support by hitting the subscribe button and clicking the bell icon to turn on notifications. If this video has helped you, then please smash the like button and thank you for watching.